All right, so I just finished watching the anime tonight, and actually, let me transition scenes real quick. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Umu, Padoru. The Padoru thing is so weird. Not important. Listen, let me let me change screens. Right. So, I think it's official. I think it's honestly, it's an amazing bow on top of an already stupendous package. I think the deal, the stamp, like the seal, like you put the wax on the letter and then you stamp it, it's done. It's done. I just finished with the season finale of Vinland Saga, episode 24. And honestly, Vinland Saga is the best anime of 2019. That season finale was stupendous that season finale was off the charts and look i understand i understand fully that in 2019 because right now it's 2020 in 2019 there were a lot of front runners when it comes to best anime of the year obviously of course the main one the big daddy one the one that everyone's talking about kimetsu no yaiba and of course other shows like attack on titan obviously huge fan base folks love aaron yeager just uh yeah, Aaron Yeager. Fair, and I understand why. I understand why. Trust me. And granted, I'm not considering JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 amongst the 2019 cast of anime. Even though most episodes aired in 2019, it started in October 2018. So I'm not going to put JoJo's Part 5 in the same camp as these others anime. Otherwise, it probably would have beat out all of them with maybe even still the exception of Vinland Saga. In all honesty. Then, of course, you have Promise Neverland. Then, of course, you have Mob Psycho Season 2. You have, I think, one of, like, the Dark Horses was Babylon. Babylon was... Whoa. Like, Babylon is... Whoa. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Then there's one show I can't get into, but I know folks like it a lot, which is Beastars. And the main character, that one wolf guy, um... Legoshi? I can see that show having tremendous potential, but I'll do a video in the future about why I can't get into Beastars, because I, I, I just cannot do it. I cannot do it. But my whole thing here is this. Vinland Saga, I think, is, of course, not the best animated anime this or last year, 2019, because that goes clearly to Kimetsu no Yaiba. Even though Attack on Titan, and I didn't see the anime, I've seen nothing anime, honestly, but I've read the manga, and I will have to watch the anime season three, part two, whatever it is, either way, I'll get to it at some point. I know what happens as I read the manga, but animation-wise, it's always been just really good, Attack on Titan, it's always been like, whoa. But still, Yaiba, I would say, is just phenomenal, because honestly, from the standpoint of animation, animation alone, Yaiba is probably one of the best, like, if not, like, top five best animated animes of the decade like that's how good the animation was it is so good it is so pristine it is so smooth on a regular basis like goddamn I'm like whoa especially when it came to the uh rui episode where you had the hinokami and then you had tanjiro going against rui that was like yo like this 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 what it was like god yeah, and then you have the water dragon before it becomes a fire dragon. It, it was amazing. But animation, as long as it's decent or like above average on a regular basis, then you could kind of say, okay, well, that's all you really need. Because if you take the Berserk anime, The Berserk Black Swordsman anime. What really throws off cats, especially me, is the animation. Because the animation's awful. The animation's horrible. It is a poor use of CG. It's clunky. It's, it's ugh. And what even stung more was the fact that the flashback scenes, those flashback scenes were actually better animated than the real-time scenes. Mind-numbingly bad. But if it was decent animation, if it was decent, solid animation for most of that particular show, that season, it would have been one of the best of the decade because the rest of the material stands by itself so strongly. And that's what Vinland Saga is. There are some scenes that are poorly animated, 
like when the armies are walking around, it's pure CG. It, it, it looks ugh. Most anime in today's day and age are going to have relatively meh scenes once in a while because of outsourcing, because of deadlines and so on and so forth. There's a whole host of reasons as to why that'll be the case, but not all anime can get away with having good animation at every scene, at every interval. Sometimes it's going to be a bad scene here or there. It is what it is. And Villain Saga is no exception to that rule. But the scenes that were well animated, like the first person view of Thorfinn cut down dudes, or when Thorkel has that ax wing and you just follow the ax wing. Oh, it was, it was godlike. Some of those scenes were stupendous, but it falls short compared to other shows, let's say, again, like Attack on Titan or Ikimetsu no Yaiba. The pacing of the show, I would say, was overall very good because with studios, they had a very good sense of when to drag out the pace, when to shorten the pace. So they knew when they had to shorten the scene and get around to the next one relatively successfully. And then they also knew how to drag out scenes to build out the proper amount of tension before moving on to a pivotal moment. So pacing wise, Vinland Saga was definitely up there. The world building was pretty damn good, but it kind of cheats because it's historical based. It's based on Vikings. It's based on that period of Europe. The setting is already built for historically speaking. So you have, of course, Iceland, you have Britain, you have Vinland, the Americas, all kind of stuff is already built for you. So it's easy from that standpoint, but it's still pretty good nonetheless because they even go back to like history stuff, very good stuff. But where this show, I think, blows the rest of the shows out of the water is the character element of the show. Vinland Saga, from a character standpoint, is, I think, far better, without a doubt, far better than Yaiba, better than Attack on Titan. Because Attack on Titan, Eren is like, like, whoa, okay, like, okay, like, there's something going on here. Eren is like a 9 out of 10, like 8 out of 10 character wise. There's like five or ten characters in Vinland Saga that are just as good, if not better. Just as good, if not better. Ashalad, Knut, oh my goodness. Knut goes through the same thing that Eren does, essentially. Essentially, that shift in character is tremendous. And mind you, Knut's character, this is only the beginning. It ends off on, even though he's been through such a huge transformation, he continues to transform and involve as a character. And the season finale, the season finale even does that. The season finale even does that for Knut. It's like, come on. Mm. Ashlad is too strong. Thorfinn is great. Thorkel's pretty damn good too. Thor's Leif, Leif, man, like, like Leif was a sleeper. Damn, Leif, my boy. Oh, warriors, like true blue warriors. And then, uh, man, even that one girl that had to go through the holding with the Vikings and the snow and you know her family and so on and then seeing that kind of parallel between the Norse and the Viking way of doing things and then the Christians and how they do their things too and how again this also adds to the world building as well and how there's this kind of like fine line but at the same time this clear conflict between the Christian and Norse ways of doing things it's it's stupendous it's stupendous through and through overall Fantastic. I can spend all day here talking about this, honestly. I really could. Uh, but I'm just keep it simple once again. Attack on Titan, I can understand. Yaiba, I can understand. Promise Neverland, Mob Psycho, other contenders out there, fair enough. But to me, best anime of 2019, anime of the year, without a doubt, without question, Vin Land Saga. But let me know your stance on the topic at hand. I'm going to catch you guys and guys later because I just finished watching it. And of course, there is some recency bias to it. Duh. And I read the manga too, but it's been a while since I read those parts of the manga, honestly. Either way, it's among the best anime of the decade. And the best anime of 2019, definitely, in my personal opinion. But that's it. I'm going to catch you guys and guys later. Be easy. And have a nice goddamn day.